Hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good How evening, are teacher. You? Hello. How was your day? It's a good day. It was a good day. That is so nice. Great. I am very happy for that, that you had a very good day. Well. Uh, but very easy too. Really? It was very easy because you didn't have to send an audio today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you have you have a homework. Did you check on the video? Es que estoy donde mi familia y tengo mi tengo el perico ahí por eso. Ah, it's so nice. I love parakeets. They are so beautiful. Okay. Oh, what a cute little thing. Oh my god. Yeah. Ah, what a beautiful thing. What is his name? Oh, I don't know. Eh, Adil, ¿cómo se llama el perico? Mauricio. Your name is Mauricio. Like my husband. <laughs> Ay, what, no. a, what, a, what a cute thing. What a beautiful uh, thing. Okay. Ay, I, I okay. love parakeets. They are so beautiful. Because they are very, Thank they are very loyal, and in some cases they are very crazy, because they just, I, yeah. You. <laughs> this this carrot is 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 really really angry. <laughs> it's violent. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah, violent. Oh my god. Well, yeah. but what what a cute what I, it, it is the first it's time. So yeah. It it's is so the first cute. time that I have him, uh, that I have a, a parakeet as. As a student, I will. Yeah, share. it's the, the, the first time the, a student. Yeah, but... because I always have cats and dogs and, and and every every other thing, but never a parakeet. That's so cute. Okay, okay, well, the first well, time. Welcome, Mauricio. Bienvenido a Mauricio, nuestro alumno periquito. Okay. It's so nice. It's a parrot. Well. As I told you, well, welcome everybody. For me, it's a great happiness to have you here uh, on Friday. Uh, I think we are going to get together all the Fridays that come because, uh, and I, I will say this in Spanish for everybody, creo que igual todas las semanas que vienen nos tendríamos que reunir todos los viernes para que su módulo termine eh, con las 16 sesiones correctas. No sé si ya habían revisado eso en el calendario. Porque yo ayer estaba contando cuántas eh, sesiones tienen que tener y de aquí al 20 de diciembre, contando de lunes a viernes, no salen las 16 sesiones. Entonces me quedé así como... Hmm, curioso. Isa. <ríe> Entonces quizás sí nos vamos a juntar todos los días. Oh, so good because we are going to practice, right? And we are going to to do everything. But I will ask tomorrow because I think it is going to be like that. Haciendo la matemática, si salen cabal las 16 sesiones, eh, todos los días, de aquí en adelante hasta el 20 de diciembre. Así que, si nos toca, pues, por mí, qué felicidad de verlos a todos ustedes todos los días. Hasta Mauricio nos vamos a tener aquí todos los días. Pero, teacher, uh -huh. en el caso de los que tengamos otras actividades día viernes, que no, o sea, no, yo no había tomado en cuenta que los viernes íbamos a estar en esta clase. No siempre tengo cosas que hacer, pero algunos viernes sí. Sí, creo que nos vamos a abrazar y vamos a, a llorar. <risa> lo que pasa es que como en, los en lo que han mandado al, al, uh -huh. al WhatsApp, dice que tenemos que tener un porcentaje de asistencia. Yes. No, es, 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 eso es como bien crucial. La, la asistencia sí es, es eh, totalmente obligatoria, al menos de tener un 80% de asistencia. Así que eh, tenemos que manejarlo ahí. 
Pero si de repente usted un viernes tiene algo que hacer, no creo que le baje 20% de asistencia. Si usted está en todas las clases, cabal sus 60 minutos y todo, pues eh, obviamente tiene que informarlo siempre a la, al personal de INSAFOR, porque yo no les puedo brindar permiso, pero eh, sí, ustedes eh, eh, están y tienen algo personal sumamente importante que hacer, pues eh, lo pueden informar a las personas de INSAFOR porque eh, para que ellos puedan estar al tanto de lo que está pasando y no es que usted solo no vino porque no quería ver. Okay. So that, that's something important. Well, my dear class, today we are going to start the day for sure, remembering our agreements of the class. Remember that uh, we are going to practice our English every single day as much as possible because it is really necessary. I need you please to keep your cameras on all the time during the complete class, right? Keep uh, the microphones off if you are not using them. Attend all your sessions on time. Participate all the time as much as possible. Keep a cooperative attitude during class and for sure collaborate with all your friends in the WhatsApp group. I, I really like when all of a sudden you say like, hey, I have to, I don't understand this exercise. And some of you say, yeah, I, I know, I know. And, and then you help each other, right? That is really, really awesome. Well, today I shared with you this little image that it says, take the best out of your virtual class. And this one mentions a little bit of what I always say. ¿Cómo le vamos a sacar el mejor provecho a su clase virtual? Obviamente, participando lo más que pueda. Disfrute de este momento de aprendizaje que solamente es suyo. Eh, marque su espacio. Marque su espacio. Siempre escoja como un lugar específico donde ponga su mesa, donde ponga su silla. Siempre les digo, yo no les recomiendo la cama, por ejemplo, porque de repente uno se va acomodando y se va acomodando y se va acomodando y de repente lo pierdo. Ya me ha pasado que en la clase yo estoy fulanito, fulanito, en otras clases, no aquí en inglés corporativo. Y de repente oigo el... Porque está bien dormido. Entonces siempre yeah. les recomiendo... Ajá. I'm in my bed, but... No, the pero... Pillow, the pillow is long, long away. No, the, the thing is that when you are, because this student was uh, was laying on the bed like like this, like, oh. yeah, they turn out the, yeah. I'm not. And then I lost him and I was like, Mr. Mr. And he was like, and he was snoring, but he was totally passed out. I mean, he was totally sleepy. So I always say that, that is really, really important. Dress nice, but comfortable. It means that for sure you are going to be, you have a shirt on, right? <laughs> That's important. Lo que les decía al principio, siempre. Because que, here uh, is my desk. Uh -huh. No, and I say like, dress nice but comfortable. It means that si ya están con su pijama o algo al menos, pero que todos estén vestidos. Eso les decía al principio. Que nadie ande ahí en, <laughs> allí mostrando las carnes, vea. Toda la carne. Yes, yes. <laughs> Yeah, y me ha pasado también, don't worry. <ríe> me pasó con una clase de niños chiquitos. No era el niño el que estaba de, 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 sin, sin camisa, pero su papá. Atrás. O su mamá, no me acuerdo si. No, era su mamá, la que pasaba en top atrás. Y yo, señor, señor, la están viendo los niños. Hijo, quiero ver. <ríe> la cámara, no voy a quite, señor. Le veo la vida. Quite, señor. So, yeah, have your notebook and pens at hand. Siempre tengan su cuaderno y sus lápices a la mano. Tomen notas y pregunten. Y si en el momento que ustedes quieren preguntar, de repente estamos haciendo algo, anótenlo en el chat, mándenmelo al chat, porque yo siempre voy a atender sus preguntas. Eh, yo hago lo posible porque la quiera se me quede lejos, pero a veces no es la quiera la que me distrae, sino que el vecino, la gente, eh, todos los que pasan aquí de repente. Siempre busquemos un espacio en el que tengamos las menores interrupciones posibles. Eh, mantengamos también lejos cualquier otro dispositivo que nos pueda causar distracción. ¿Por qué? Porque es el momento en el que estamos para practicar. So, these are some pieces of advice that I always tell my students 
and for sure, uh, they are very useful, right? They are always very, very, very useful for everybody, okay? So, yo siempre se las comparto a todos mis estudiantes, porque siempre nos sirve. So, yesterday, we were working on this, and I assigned a little homework about these adjectives that you had to choose some of them for you to create definitions of them. So, I need you, please, to choose three definitions that you wrote, and I need you to send them on the chat, okay? Send the definitions on the chat because I need to check the writing. So you are going to send them here. You are going to send them here on the chat of Zoom, or if you cannot do it there, you can send it on the chat on WhatsApp, but I need you to send me three of the definitions that you created, right? So uh, I need you to choose three. De todas las que escribieron, escojan tres. And send me the three of them. And here, I am going to say a brave person. And you are going to tell me is someone who is not afraid of new challenges. Okay. Or activities. And there I have one definition, right? And I need you to send me three. Oh, sorry, I forgot the space between a uh, break. Okay, there you go. Okay, so I need you to send me three and we are going to check them. Send me three of them. Okay, in that case, uh, I received one that says a quiet person who relax, who stay relaxed all the time. A quiet person is someone who stays relaxed all the time, right? I am going to write this one for you to remember the example. Okay, I will keep them here. I have another one, lazy. A person who does not like to perform assigned tasks. Very good. There you go, I have three. A cheerful person is someone who never has, who never has negative thoughts. A ruthless person is someone who, uh, it's someone very rigorous who usually has not mercy. <laughs> okay. And lay, let's see, smart. Ah, witty. A witty person is someone smart, capable of imagining or inventing, imagining or inventing something quickly. Lazen, lazy is a person who, who doesn't, who doesn't like to work, right? Witty is a person that always is doing things with creativity and choose different ways to solve issues. Different ways to solve issues. Okay. A lazy person is someone who doesn't worry by doing something for himself or herself or for his or her environment. He doesn't do anything. Right. Oh, I think you need to change your name because I can see the name of your phone on the platform. Okay. Tengo un Galaxy. Ah, cero dos. Please change the name on uh, the platform. Let me see. A ruthless person is someone who is mean to others. Good. Absent minded is a person that usually couldn't, that usually could say, I didn't see it coming. 
and lose the thread of conversation. Okay. Yeah. It's just like, ah, huh? what happened? Right. And loses the thread of the conversation because you are talking about a third person. Possessive is a person who likes to dominate someone else's will to dominate. Brave is a person who, even though is scared, always tries before saying, always tries before saying that he cannot do something. Okay, I'm going to correct this one because this one is necessary to be corrected. Okay, and I'm going to send it here. Brave. Brave, let me see. Okay, I keep reading, keep sending. It is a person who even though is scared, comma, he always tries before saying he before saying that he cannot do something. Okay, there you go. Naughty is a bad person. <laughs> Witty is a person Person is someone who is very ingenious. Greedy is a person who desires the things of others. Cheerful is a happy person, okay. Brave is a person, okay, good, 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 good. And I sent you the definition. Tochi is a picky person, Tochi. Selfish is a person who does not like to share with other people, very good. Kind is a person with a very good education who stands out for being a collaborator, very nice. Great definitions, people. I really like that the idea that uh, this exercise had was for you to understand everything about the vocabulary, right? Thank you, Josue. I got uh, your definitions. A quiet person is someone who makes little or no noise, okay? Because you say it is a person, a quiet person is someone who makes, porque estamos hablando de una tercera persona, he or she, makes little or no noise. A ruthless person is someone who has shown, uh, who has shown no compassion for others, who has shown, right? In this case, uh, here, I'm going to copy it to correctly. Then let me see. Okay. And neat, a neat person uh, who is order or tidy. A naughty person is someone who is disobedient, right? A naughty person is someone who is disobedient. Good, very good. So you see, the idea is that you studied the vocabulary, that you wrote the definitions, that you understood the definitions, and for sure, that uh, okay that for sure you are going to continue using in the rest of the sentences let's continue here thank you for all the sentences that you sent and i will keep on reading them here we were working on on this one and this is what i was explaining that when you use this one in third person for example, here, cuando lo usamos así, que lo usamos en tercera persona, you say, funny, funny is a person who makes. ¿Por qué hacemos el, el tercer, la tercera forma del, eh, del verbo aquí? ¿Por qué? Porque decimos, is a person who. Entonces, a person who puede ser he o she. Entonces, en este caso, sí le cambiamos. En estos ejercicios que tuvimos el día de ayer, por ejemplo, en este, you were using I. I don't want to have a partner who, and I say, I will prefer a roommate who, because you are talking in first person. Por eso en esta no hicimos cambios al verbo, porque estábamos hablando de I, okay? En este caso sí, pero aquí como estamos hablando en general, it is a person who, es una persona que, y esa persona puede ser he or she, okay? So, do you get the difference? ¿Me captan la diferencia? Porque en este tenemos que cambiar el verbo. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, good. 
So this is what we were doing. And now we are going to work a little bit on this one. Here I have four different uh, people, right? Boss, friend, partner, and coworker. And he, in here we have my ideal boss, my ideal friend, my ideal partner, and my ideal coworker. How is your ideal coworker? My ideal coworker is someone who is organized. I give you one example. My ideal boss is someone who is what? I need you to write one sentence per each of them. Vamos a escribir una para cada uno. Ahí tenemos el ejemplo. My ideal boss is someone who is organized. My ideal friend is someone who is, and you add something. My ideal partner, partner es como tu pareja de, de, de relación sentimental. My ideal coworker, mi eh, compañero de trabajo. So we're going to write four sentences and you're going to tell me that on the microphone, okay? Esas las vamos a compartir, pero en el micrófono. So right now, I need you to write the sentences because you are going to share them, okay? Go ahead. Bossful is a person who brags his or her accomplishments and humiliates other people. Thank you. That's a very good definition. Generous is a person who is showing a readiness to give more or something as a money or time. Very good. Ok, cuando terminemos las oraciones, las cuatro que tenemos aquí, me van a levantar la manita en la plataforma para que yo les vaya llamando ya cuando todos hayan terminado. to me when I have any problem in life. You say like, who is with me? You say, who is with me? In that case, Luis. My ideal friend is, some, is somebody or someone who is with me when I have any problem in life. Or who accompanies me? That's another form. Quien me acompaña, right? Who accompanies me when I have any problem in life? I send it on the chat. Noted, noted, teacher. Noted. <laughs> noted, noted, you said, noted. <laughs> Very good. Okay, four sentences. Boss, friend, partner, and coworker. Go ahead. Teacher. <clears throat> hola, hola. Was it um, a, a sentence for coworker and partner? Two for every sentence with partner and coworker.
concepto de la eterna juventud. <risa> one for boss, one for friend, one from partner, and one, one for coworker. You need to write four different ones. Ah, Son cuatro okay. en total. Boss, okay. my ideal uh -huh. boss is someone who, my uh -huh. ideal friend is someone who, my ideal partner is someone who, and my ideal coworker is someone who. Okay. Four. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Go ahead. Teacher. Yes. Co worker is like a. Es como compañero de trabajo. Yes, that's the, that's the same, right? Co worker. It's like partner, uh, colleague. It's the same. Well, I am going to take advantage to call the attendance. Meanwhile, mientras terminan de escribirlas, I am going to call the attendance. And for sure, when you listen to your name, please say here or present, okay? And thank you. Luis, you are sending them to me. That's good. Let me just... <clears throat> Uh, well, in this case, Lillian, esas son definiciones de que son. Say, boss is a person who, and that's good because the definitions are good. Boss is a person who coordinates a group of people. Pero ¿cuál sería su jefe ideal? My ideal boss is someone who is a leader. Eh, someone who is very organized. Someone who is creative. Someone who is eh, easygoing, right? But the definition was very good. Okay, so let me just call the attendance. And here we go. Very good, Walter, very nice. My ideal boss is someone who is a good leader. Excellent. Very nice. Okay. And here we go. Alejandra Cristina. Alejandrita, no está. Astrid Michelle. Present. Blanca Estela. Carlos Alfredo. Present. Thank you. Carlitos, le decía que le cambiara el nombre al, al teléfono porque me sale Galaxy A20. <ríe> no me sale Carlitos. No vino Carlitos. <ríe> Claudia y Anet. <ríe> Ever de Jesús. Present, chair. Gabriel Stephanie. Gladys Present. Thank you. Gladys Imelda. Present. Griselda Elizabeth. Jasmine Vanessa. Present, Miss. Joaquín. Present, chair. Thank you. José Arturo. José Emanuel. Here I am, present. José Isaías. Present. Here, teacher. Thank you. Lilian Estela. Present. Eh, Luis Fernando. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Luis Roberto. Madeline Gabriela Manuel Aristides Olivia Emanuel Paula María Rosa Esmeralda Sandra Cecilia Present. Walter René. Present teacher. Jenny Maritza. 
present, teacher. Thank you very much. I have 18 connected. Okay, and let me see. 18. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ok, um, ¿alguien que no lo haya mencionado, chicos, en la lista? ¿O que entró cuando ya lo había mencionado? Mi Estela Lara. Mi Estela, ahorita. Blanca Estela, thank you very much. ¿Quién más entró cuando ya había pasado lista? Veamos, veamos. José Arturo Ramírez. Presente. Ok. ¿A quién más no le llamé? Ok, ha entrado hoy al filo del peligro. A Mauricio, profe. A Mauricio, Mauricio. El periquito. Hey, it's true. Quiero ver. Ah, <risa> cuac. <risa> no había entendido. <risa> Mauricio. Hurra. Presente. Mauricio, present. Mauricio is present, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Es, está durmiendo un poco. Pobrecito. Es, es, es hora de dormir. No se quiere ir de ahí. Pobrecito. No quiere irse. No, ya es hora de dormir para Mauricio. Ok, did you finish your sentences, people? Okay, so we are going to work on the sentences now. We are going to work on that and for sure, we are going to share the meaning of, um, well, your definitions, sorry. We are going to share your definitions on them. I am going to call different names and you are going to tell me um, one or two of the definitions that you have. Gladys, what definitions do you get? Tell me two. Well, my ideal friend is someone who is genuine. Very good. Someone who is genuine. Very good. Another one? Well, my ideal partner is someone who be empathic. Who is empathetic. Right. Good. Empathic, and intelligent, with a and good mature. sense of humor. And with a good sense of humor. Very good. Uh, Lilian, uh, what do course. you have? <laughs> Give me two. My ideal for worker is someone who is collaborative and good. with good vibes. Very good. With good vibes. 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 And uh, give me the second one. My ideal for is someone who is understanding good my ideal boss is someone who is understanding very nice astrid my ideal boss is someone who knows how to be a good leader and promote the professional improvement of people and my ideal partner is someone who has goals and objectives in life that's so important, right? Someone who has goals and objectives in life. Fantastic definitions. Luis Fernando. Go ahead. Give me one. Sorry. Okay. My dear friend is somebody who is joined to me when I have any problem in life. Very good. And the second one, my ideal partner is somebody who loves me and I love her as well. Ah, yeah. Somebody who, who loves me, right? That's enough. <laughs> yeah, remember the, the Elton John songs, the yeah. All You Need Is Love. All You Need Is Love, definitely. <laughs> and money. <laughs> he, he, made, he made a summary of that. <laughs> yeah, he made a summary of that. Walter René, go ahead. Okay, um, my ideal boss is someone who is a good leader. Good, very nice. My ideal friend is someone who is very funny. Good, <laughs> nice, Joaquin. 
My ideal boss is someone who is very intelligent and he has a gift of comment. Nice. My ideal friend is someone who is reliable. Reliable. And who and who has a good sense of humor. Very good. Reliable and with a good sense of humor. Jasmine. Okay. Thank you, Joaquin. Okay. Yes, yes. Día. Vamos, vamos. My ideal boss is someone who is creative and original. Okay, creative uh, and original. Yes. Um, my ideal co-worker is someone who is cooperative. Cooperative. Good. Yes. Sandra, go ahead. Um, my idea, ideal boss is someone who is witty. Uh, witty, my, idea, uh -huh. my ideal friend is someone who is jovial. 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 Uh -huh. My idea, yep. ideal partner is someone who is lo loyal. 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 Um, my ideal co-worker is someone who are clear and empathetic. Clever empathetic. and empathetic. Good, very good. Excellent. Mr. Ever, go ahead. Okay, my ideal boss is someone who showed the correct way to do the tax vaccinated. And second one, my ideal, my ideal. ideal friends. Ideal friends is someone who give the best advice when I need it. Very good, right? Very nice. Josue. I, my ideal partner is someone who understand me, understands me. And my ideal worker is someone who can listen and share their ideas. Very nice. Excellent definitions. Jose Ramirez, go ahead. Um, my ideal boss is someone who is respectful and a good leadership, responsible and understanding. Uh, my ideal friend is someone who is a reliable, reliable, reliable person, helpful and comprehensive and polite all time, and neat and easygoing. Neat and easygoing. Good. Okay, comprehensible. Gabriela Stephanie, go ahead. Okay, uh, my ideal boss, it will be someone that the good leader and honest. Okay, a good leader and honest. And, honest. and uh, um, the, my ideal co-worker, co-worker, and the part that, it, it has um, polite and, and good vibes. 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 <laughs> vibes. And you like that word, right? The vibes. Estela, go ahead. <laughs> good evening, teacher. Hello. <laughs> uh, I'm so, <laughs> sorry. I honest that I don't have a nice I don't understand this topic. <laughs> but you didn't ask. <laughs> Come on. I, I, I have escuchado como 10 ejemplos. So keep listening, and at the end, I need you to do it, ¿ok? Pone atención a lo que estamos haciendo, escuchar los ejemplos, que al final voy a volver contigo, ¿ok? Listen and create, ¿ok? Do it. Aquí, aquí no se vale el no puedo. Go ahead. You can do it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Let's see. Carlos Alberto. Alberto o Alfredo. Alfredo. Sorry. Sí. <laughs> yeah, okay. Por eso no me enamoro. Yo. <laughs> Because you change names. Okay. Uh, the, my first example is the following. My co-worker should be a person who looks for growing up professionally. Okay. Um, And the second, my partner, my 
the perfect partner have to be a person who figure out a lot of technology. Okay, who figure out a lot about technology. Good, so and, she has to be very smart. <laughs> and my boss, my uh, the perfect boss, should be a person who likes the economics and leads people. Of course, uh, that person has to be uh, so self-taught. Okay, self-taught, okay. Um, and my my friend have to be a person who listen to me when I want to talk about something more specifically about my feelings and problems. Okay, so about your feelings and problems. That is important, okay. right? Someone who listens. Jenny Sanchez, go ahead. My ideal friend is someone who agrees with me in difficult moments. My ideal co-worker is someone who knows how to work as a team. Okay, very good. Manuel Aristides, go ahead. Or Sandrita. No, Sandrita already did it, forget it. Um, miss, miss. my oh, cool. ideal boss is a creative person who set an example. Okay. My ideal friend, is the one who loves me like a brother. My ideal co-worker is someone who is intelligent and very happy. Okay, good, very nice. Thank you very much for all these definitions. Am I missing someone? Se me queda alguien? Okay, Estelita la tengo ahorita creando oraciones. Did you, did you create one, Estela? Okay, remember that the example was this one, right? This was the example. My ideal boss is someone who is organized. My ideal boss is someone people who is smart. Smart, very good. Okay, your ideal friend um, is someone who Ok, sí. aquí Internet. tenemos, ajá, ok, tenemos el ejemplo. Eh, sí. Bueno, happy. Ok. My idea, friends, eh, is someone who is happy. Very good. You see, mm. you see, Estela, that you could do yeah. it. <laughs> Quiet. Quiet, you say happy, quiet, intelligent, smart, and many other ones, right? My ideal friend is someone who has a good sense of humor. Definitely, it needs to have a good sense of humor because here where you see me, I, I have a good sense of humor, right? I love to laugh all the time. So you see, that was the idea of creating the sentences. I have here a short example of this one. And I asked you this one on an audio some days ago. And it says, my best friend, my best friend is someone who is friendly and easygoing. She's a reliable friend and someone who I can call anytime. We have been friends for about five years, but we didn't become friends right away. Okay, practice this little paragraph with me. It says, my best friend is someone who is friendly My and friend. easygoing. My best friend is yes. someone My who is friendly friend and easygoing. Who is friendly and easygoing. My best friend is someone who is friendly and easygoing. She is a reliable friend and someone who I can call anytime. She's, She's a reliable, reliable friend, friend and someone who I can call anytime. We have been friends for about five years. But we didn't become friends right away. But we didn't become friends right away. Okay, important. When you read, you need to add the accents of reading, okay? Tenemos que ponerle los acentos a la lectura. Y ahora, por ejemplo, por eso les envié el video de los fonemas para que se den cuenta que tenemos que articular bien las palabras para que tengamos el sonido correcto. 
En inglés no tenemos tildes. En inglés no tenemos marcas de, de estrés donde vamos a poner la fuerza de voz ni nada. It has to be about intonation and what do you want to express, okay? When you have a paragraph, you don't read, for example, my best friend is someone who is friendly and easygoing. She is reliable and someone who I can call anytime. No, aquí no tenemos robotcitos leyendo. Haga de caso que se lo está contando a alguien más y que le dice, hey, ¿cómo es tu mejor amigo? De repente, si alguien le dice, contame de tu mejor amigo, you are going to start, ah, mira, es que no, no. Dice, mira, el Josué, ese bicho sí que buena onda, mira. Y empiezan a hablar así como, hey, ¿cómo es? Porque no sé qué. Mira, él es alto, y es bien buena onda, bien buena gente, nos conocimos en el kinder, que no sé qué. And then you start talking, right? And you get excited about talking. So you cannot say, uh -huh, she, he is very intelligent. He is very talkative. He is very smart. No. So you say, my best friend is someone who is really, uh, who is friendly and easygoing. She's a reliable friend and someone who I can talk, who I can call anytime. We have been friends for about five years, but we didn't become friends right away. So I need you to read it. Respect the stops, oh, respect the punctuation. Right, right okay. Away. My best friend is someone who is really friend friendly and easygoing. Easy easy she is a reliable friend and someone who I can call anytime. We have been friends for about five years, but we didn't become friends right away. Okay, practice. Go ahead, practice, practice, practice. My best friend is someone who is friendly and is going. My best friend is someone who is friendly and is going. She's a friend, someone who I can find anytime. We have been friends for about five years, but we didn't become friends right away. Right away. Okay, so tell me, Joaquin, how is your best friend? My best friend is someone who is friendly and easy going. She is a reliable friend and someone who I can call anytime. We have been friends for about 32 years. Five years, five years. <laughs> okay, five years. But we didn't become friends right away. Okay. Todavía estamos un poquito así como dudosos de sí, no, sí, no. Okay. <clears throat> Walter, tell me about your best friend. How is she, how is she? Oh, my, my best friend is someone who is friendly and easy going. She is a really uh, reliable and reliable, I'm sorry, a reliable friend <laughs> and someone yeah, who I can call anytime. We've I'm been friends friend. for about five years, but we didn't become friends right now. Right away. Okay. Let me see. Uh, let me see. Lillian, how is your best friend? Tell me about her. My best friend is a bright, bright person. She encouraged the situation with the best attitude and works so hard to face the issues too. Hey, that is so nice. You gave me a real example. Fantastic job, fantastic job. The extra mile, I love it. Luis Fernando, tell me, tell me about your best friend. How is he or she? My best friend is someone who is friendly and easygoing. She's a re reliable, reliable. Friend, reliable friend and someone who I can call anytime. We've been friends for about five years, but we didn't become friends right away. Okay, thank you very much. Mr. Jose Ramirez, how is your best friend? The microphone, the microphone. <laughs> um, my best friend is someone who is friendly and easygoing. She's a reliable friend and someone who I can call anytime. We have been friends for about five years, but we didn't become friends right away. We Okay, very good. You see, you did it. Notan la diferencia. Notan la diferencia. 
pero está contando, se siente cómodo, me está contando la historia, right? It's like, ah, you know, teacher, my best friend, I mean, she's so nice, she's a reliable person, she's confident, and I like her, she has done this and that, so very good job, Mr. Jose Ramirez, I think you definitely deserve a star and a heart for the night, very good job. Josue, tell me about your best friend. Uh, my best friend is someone who is friendly and easygoing. He is a reliable friend and someone who I can call any time. We have been friends for about five years, but we didn't become friends right away. Very good. So you see, a little bit nervous, but it was good. It was good, right? Be un poquito ahí nerviosito, but that was good. Estela, how is your best friend? My best friend is a someone who is friendly and easygoing. She is really reliable, reliable friends, and someone who is can call anytime. We've we be friends for about five years, but we didn't, didn't come become friends right away. Very good, yeah. excellent job. Right away, right away. And the last right. one, but not least, Astrid, Michelle, tell me about your best friend. How is she? My best friend is someone who is friendly and is going. She is a reliable friend and someone who I can call anytime. We've been friends for about five years, but we didn't become friends right away. Very nice, very nice job. So you see, that's the idea. That's the idea that you train for you not to sound so mechanical. Okay, you have to work a little bit for you not to sound really mechanical and try to do it. Imagine that you are telling that to another person, right? El hecho de imaginarnos que se lo estamos contando a alguien más, it helps a lot for you not to feel so threatened, like, ah, ah that you sound really, really mechanical. Well, so here I have a short question for you. And let me just move it a little bit. My question is, people, do you get annoyed easily? Do you know what is the meaning of annoyed? Molestarte. Aha. Uh -huh. Do you get annoyed easily? Um, in, in Spanish, you call it mecha corta. That you are like, uh, <laughs> in a minute, then you get very angry, very easy. Do you get annoyed I'm easily? That question. <laughs> yeah, raise your hand. Okay, aquí nadie los juzga. Go ahead. Raise your hand if you are. I get annoyed very easily. <laughs> and it's like, mm, guilty. <laughs> or you are very patient. Who is very patient? Raise your hand if you are very patient. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Astrid is patient. Gabriela is patient. I am in the middle of patient and annoyed. <laughs> Josue, you are, are you patient or you get annoyed easily? Uh, patient. Patient, okay. So I can be bothering Josue and bothering Josue and, but, and you are like, nice. No, I, I get annoyed very easily. I'm impatient. I, I am impatient as well. I am impatient and I, I just, I can't stand many things. So here I have some situations and you are going to tell me yes or no, teacher. Tell me, I can't stand, and that's the phrase that we are going to be using, right? I can't stand. This is another friend phrase that we add. I can't stand. No soporto. I can't stand it when. I can't stand it when. A child screams in a restaurant. Yes or no, people? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I had I had an experience. Yes. I had an experience. It's, no, it's normal. <laughs> yeah, no, but I can stand it. Like shh. <laughs> I I I was on a on a on a trip. Okay. Eh, tuvimos un, un vuelo de, de una situación de una beca. But in front of me, there was a, a lady with a baby on the flight. 
And the baby was, ¿Ah? All the flight. Todo el vuelo. El cipotillo. ¿Ah? And when we arrived, it was like, nice and silent. And I said, uh -huh. grite, grite ahorita que ya llegamos. <laughs> it was so <laughs> annoying, but really annoying, right? It was really annoying. I don't like it when, that is another phrase. I don't like it when a cell phone rings in the classroom mm -hmm. mm. or in a meeting, right? Or at the no. church. People no. in some cases, we are at the church and then Falta de respeto. ¿Quién le habla? Dios, contéstele. <laughs> so, I, I don't like it when. I don't like it when. That's the second phrase. The next one, it bothers me. So, you see, it goes in levels, right? I can't stand es no lo soporto. I don't like it. No me gusta, pero no me mata. It bothers me. Me molesta, pero anyway, right? But the worst is, I hate it when, lo odio. I hate it when people talk with their mouths full. I hate it when people talk with bubble gum in the mouth. Have you seen people talking with a bubble gum in the mouth? Cuando tienen un chicle en la boca and they are talking. And you can my, see, and you can see the bubble gum moving. My, mi, mi abuela le decía como que esos vacates. <laughs> Tell me something that you hate. When you say, I hate it when people. <clears throat> que es un comportamiento de la gente que ustedes odian. I hate it when people. Teacher. Uh -huh. I hate when, I hate it when people talk uh, loud in, in, in a meeting. <laughs> hey we are here take it easy take it or on the phone i hate it when people talk aloud on the phone yeah. for people to listen to you they're like sí, es que mira, aquí ando en el centro. yeah on the bus i hated that what is another thing that you hate i hate it when people uh -huh. I hate it I when hate people it. talk about other people. Uh -huh. I hate it when people talk loud like they are a uh, microphone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mis tías. <laughs> tías, las amo. <laughs> si ven este video, las quiero mucho. <laughs> yeah, but they talk really loud. Definitely. Uh, All the neighborhood knows. Good. Carlos Alfredo, what is something that you hate about people? Mr. Carlos Alfredo. Lo perdí, lo perdí. Hello. Ah, there you go, there you go. I, I'm thinking about um, I hate when people um, put me Another, another name. <gasps> <laughs> Me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> bueno, aquí pedimos disculpas públicas, vea, para haberle dicho. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> ya no voy a pedir más. <laughs> It upsets me when. It upsets me is like, me decepciona. It upsets me when. It upsets me when people uh, tell me that my boss voice is loud. <laughs> okay. Lilian. Because I, I feel like I, yeah. I, I'm screaming, but nobody listens to me. Okay. So. <laughs> That's curious. What is something that upsets you, Lillian? ¿Qué la pone triste, la decepciona? It upsets me when... It upsets me when my son is screaming. Is scream. screaming, right? It's screaming and I am concentrating in 
my class. Okay. <laughs> I can't stand it. No lo soporto, right? I can't stand it when. I can't stand it. Yeah, I can't stand it. It's like I, I don't, I don't like it, right? I don't like it. It's like no me gusta. Pero I can't stand it. It's like no lo soporto y no puedo pasar un minuto más con eso, right? It I bothers me. It. Uh huh. I can stand it with when somebody likes me. Likes to I me. Uh huh. And I know the truth. Exactly like that, right? And it bothers me, me molesta, right? So here you have different definitions that we are going to be using on Monday, okay? We are going to be using on Monday to close this unit and uh, we're going to be using these sentences, right? Estas las tienen ahí en, en, el, en su manuelito. If not, I am going to share them sure. with you. Yes? Here I have a question. Yep. The borders, it borders is the same to matter. Doesn't matter. No, 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 no. It bothers me is like me molesta. Cuando okay. decimos it doesn't matter, no importa. Right? Mm -hmm. But it bothers me is like me molesta. Me molesta okay. mucho. Right? So that's that's okay. the difference. Well, okay. my dear class, okay. uh, it has been everything for today. I really appreciate your time being here. And I am going to meet you on Monday. Have a beautiful oh, wow. weekend. Practice with the words on the video. Try to imitate, and when you have the list, make the out. Okay. okay. Have a good Thank night. You. See you on Thank Monday. Rest a lot. Bye bye. Bye.